fixed the selfie. Why not? Oh yeah, I got that slow. This might be lighter than one eighth ounce. I didn't think you were that professional. All right, well everyone's hooking up around us except for us. That's a good. He just landed like a twenty-two. You need to start getting on this bite. That's not a bad one. Screw oh, <laughs> Dude, oh my god, that was a good one. <laughs> my reel was jamming up. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I had him. I had him. Alright. Three fish for both of these guys around us. We have zip. I've missed one. That's a good one. That's what I meant. Dude, it's good. Like, bud? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I need you to get up here, dude. Come on. Be steezy. Not that big. That's not bad. Yes! Check that big old meat stick out. Not gonna keep him. Watch out, I wanna measure him. Yeah, 22. Not a bad one. Look at that fish. Alright, where's my citation? I'm like an inch off, two inches off. Where's he at? That's another. That is not that big. That's gonna be a boxer. Another flounder. Yeah, it's a small flounder. A little flounder. That's gonna be probably too big to keep again. It's probably just 20. We don't keep anything over 20. Flipper die. Oh yeah, that's gonna get boxed. He's like 19. Yeah, he's good. Look at that guy right there. Got me a nice cold water trout. That's my biggest keeper of the year. Well, not biggest keeper. Biggest fish I'm gonna keep. That's probably about 19, 20. That's going to be dinner. Yeah, those guys are fly fishing. But that's the dude in the uh, boat with all the bobbers and stuff. Yeah, I caught all mine just letting it sit. There you go. There you go. That's a good one. Oh, you just got that light rod. Oh wow, that's a uh, that's quite a good fish. Here you go. Or I'm gonna throw the paw now because they like the moving, I guess. Well, going back to the old soft plastic, so just gonna drag at the bottom. I want to get me a nice old fat pup. Are they even in season yet, right? They're in season the entire year. Look at 
play that kid. What a stunt. What an amen. You gonna stake that guy or no? I'm not. Nah, you stick him back then. Oh, he's got one too. Look at that shit. Get on some fish, bud. That was not graceful at all. Probably killed that thing. Stick him? Yeah, why not? I'd much rather have two of the fish than one. Trying to see that box, boy. Oh, yeah. Two good ones. Oh, I bet my fault. Rip. Don't be that guy. That's the only reason the bite stopped. That guy's passed here like two times. It's a shame. We just have to wait another 20 minutes for the bite to heat back up. Well, just broke off an eye on my uh, new spinning rod. So this guy's gonna be out of commission for a bit. I'm just gonna throw my uh, swim bait. Oh, look at this kid. Look at this kid, he's bowed up on a toad. How big is he? Small. Flare fish. He's got the shakes. Oh, he's a nice small dude. He's a giant. Playing like a trout. What are you doing? Just put him in the box. Box him? Alright, I'm cold, so I just put my gloves on. I'm a little frigid. Snag, big time snag. Yeah, that wasn't a snag, I don't know what it was. That's a good one. Never mind. What are you even fishing? You're fishing a swim bait? I'm fishing the same thing as you. This is just BS. Are you sure? It's a giant? Yeah, it might be. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, might have to grab the camera. Where's she at, bud? Look at this kid. He's bowed up. Might be a red, actually. Where's she at? Actually, might not be that big. Oh, you snagged it, you idiot. Why would you do that? It just snagged in the head. Oh, it's actually not bad. Oh, there she goes. Good release. Alright guys, I'm back at the house. I've got all three trout right here. And I'm going to take this knife. We're going to flay them up and we're going to cook. I think we're going to cook one tonight so I don't waste them all. Uh, probably just pan fry it, maybe blacken it. I don't know yet. Let's get into cooking and cleaning. Let's go, stay tuned. All right, so here we've got a beautiful speck. Either this one is the biggest or this one in here. I know this one's right here, the smallest. We're gonna flay all three. Look at this guy. Nice, fat, beautiful speckled trout. It's gonna make some good fish. Let's flay them up and cook them. I'm gonna first start off with the knife coming behind the head. Then, I'm gonna flip them around. I'm gonna make a little incision here so I can just start my cut. And I come around like this. And just go down the back. Don't wanna to miss too much meat, so you wanna stay around the backbone. And once you get to that backbone, 
you want to stay really tight to it. Then you just want to go down, angle your knife down. You're going to want to take the knife, go up over the rib cage, not missing any meat. Stay tight to the rib cage and then come down with the rib cage. You finish your cut. And you end up with that nice fillet right there. So I'm going to pick up some of the better looking pieces and I'm going to put the rest in Ziploc bags and then I'm going to cook them up, the ones that I chose, up tonight. Just have to see the amount I want. I got to get some of these scales off of the fillets because you don't want scales in your fillets at all. That's a no-no. So I'm going to choose them and then I'm going to get the grease going and we're going to get to frying. I'm gonna put some flour, garlic powder, Old Bay, salt, pepper, and to spice it up a little Tabasco. I'm gonna put all in this bag, I'm gonna put these in the bag and then I'm gonna squish them up so they get completely coated with it. And I'm gonna time lapse through all of it so you don't have to sit and wait through it. So they're all in here, they're uh, all being coated, and just got the pan out, I'm gonna get some of this oil, crank up the heat a little bit, and we're gonna get to frying. So this is what the product should look like. I like mine a little more burnt, so I left that on longer. But yeah, let's get to eating it. All right guys, I'm gonna be wrapping up today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, it was very fun to film. Uh, I haven't gotten on some trout in a while. And the trout that we did get on were some very good ones. I think the one I lost would have been over citation if I had caught in it, but I don't know. We did lose a soldier in battle today. Um, it just broke on one of the boat little seats on the boat, but just talk some savage gear, guys. Well, I think I'm going to get a new rod, hopefully. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace out. Stay salty.